What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking the Limitation Cocktail series to another level. We're not gonna make only one cocktail, we're gonna make five, and all of them is gonna be gin-based because pretty much everybody has a gin bottle in their bar and because pretty much everybody loves gin. So we're gonna keep it simple and diversify, so I'm sure you're gonna like at least one, if not five. So if you guys are ready, let's do this right now. All right guys, so the first cocktail of the series is the Lavender Bee's Knees. That's just a simple riff on the classic Bee's Knees by adding a few drops of lavender bitters. It is very, very tasty. So we're gonna start with two ounces of your favorite dry gin. Followed by three quarters of an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Then we're gonna add three quarters of an ounce of honey syrup. This one is a two to one ratio, so that means two parts of honey for one part of water. You dissolve and you bottle it and you're good to go. Then for the lavender, just a few drops of lavender bitters and be careful with that, it is very powerful. So you can start with one drop, one dash, and taste it and see if you like it because not all bitters have the same power and strength and flavors. Mine, I like it with just one heavy dash and that's gonna be plenty enough. So now we're gonna fill our shaker with ice and give it a very good shake for about 10 seconds. And now we're gonna fine strain it into our favorite chilled cocktail coupe. And for the garnish, we're simply gonna throw a nice wheel of lemon in the cocktail, just like that. And this, my friend, is a lavender bee's knees. Cheers. All right, so for the second cocktail, we're gonna make a hanky panky. The hanky panky was created in the early 1900s by Madame Ada Coleman, which, fun fact, was the first and only female head bartender of the iconic American bar at the Savoy Hotel in London. And the cocktail consists in an ounce and a half of your favorite dry gin, three quarters of an ounce of sweet vermouth, and a quarter of an ounce of Fernet Branca. Then we simply fill our mixing glass with ice and give it a good stir for about 60 revolutions. And now we're gonna strain it in a beautiful cocktail glass, Nick and Nora, if you have. And for the garnish, we're gonna express orange oil on top of the cocktail. And this, my friend, is how you make a delicious Enki Panky. Cheers. All right, so for the next one, we're gonna make an elderflower gin ricky. This is super simple, super light, refreshing, and delicious. We're gonna go with an ounce and a half of dry gin. Followed by three quarters of an ounce of Saint Germain or the elderflower liquor that you have at home. Then we're gonna juice three quarters of an ounce of fresh lime. We're gonna fill our shaker with ice and give it a very good shake for about 10 seconds. Then we're gonna fill our eyeball with ice and strain the cocktail over ice. And 
And then we're gonna top it with an ounce and a half of sparkling water. Remember, when you top a cocktail with soda water or anything sparkling, you don't wanna over pour it because you don't wanna dilute the cocktail too much. So an ounce and a half, usually for a soda water top, is plenty enough. Now I like just to give it a little stir to incorporate all the ingredients together properly. Just like that. And for the garnish, once again, just a simple lime wheel in a cocktail like this. And this, my friend, is how you make an elderflower gin ricky. Cheers. All right, guys, so now let's move on to Ford cocktail and probably my favorite one of the list because it has maraschino. And if you like me and love maraschino, I've made already some recipes using it on this channel. So link up here if you wanna see the recipes. But today, let's add one to the list by making a casino. The casino, it's two ounces of dry gin. Three quarters of an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. I always say freshly squeezed lemon juice and remember if it's not freshly squeezed it's not good if it comes from a plastic bottle not worth it and then I'm gonna add half an ounce of maraschino liqueur quarter of an ounce of simple syrup and three dashes of orange angostura bitters now let's fill this shaker with ice and give it a very good shake for about 10 seconds. And then once again, you fine strain it into your favorite chilled cocktail coop. And for the garnish, simply add a beautiful maraschino cherry into the cocktail. And this, my friend, is how you make a delicious casino. Cheers. All right, so now, last but not least, the tuxedo number two. The tuxedo number two is like if the casino, the one that we just made, wanted to be a martini. That's what it would taste like. So we're gonna go with two ounces of dry gin. Three quarters of an ounce of dry vermouth. A quarter of an ounce of Martian liquor. And two dashes of Regan orange bitters. Now we're gonna fill our mixing glass with ice and stir it for about 60 revolutions. And now before we strain the cocktail into our cocktail coupe, we're gonna spritz a little bit of absinthe in the glass and we're gonna strain it. Then for the garnish, we're gonna express some delicious lemon oil on the cocktail. There you go. And by the way, guys, if you don't have any apps at home because we are in the limitation series, don't worry, you can use Pestis, you can use Uzo, you can even use some Buka. It's only for the nose that you want, some anise flavored liqueur, and it's gonna do the trick perfectly. So this is it, guys. This is how I make a tuxedo number two. I really hope you're gonna like it, guys. I hope you like the video as well. And obviously, these are some of my top gin cocktails, but these are not the only one that I like. So if you like the video, you would like to see more, leave me your thoughts in the comments below if you would like to see a sequel for five more gin cocktails. Until then, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Thank you very much for watching and see you very soon. Cheers.